Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. My name is Uswan. In the previous video, I have implemented the API to get questions in Angular. Today in this video, we will see how can we post answers of the questions. Okay. So let's get started. So here you can see the Spring Boot application. So I'm going to create here the new entity for the answer. Okay. So let's annotate with add the rate entity annotation. We we'll create this class as entity entity in the database. So here I'm going to add the first property that is the primary key of our entity. It will be a long ID and let's make it a primary key. So we need to add here add the rate ID annotation. Let me import from Jakarta dot persistence. And the second annotation we need to add is generated value, which will be a strategy. Generation type dot identity. Okay. Second property we need to add here. That is string body of the answer. Okay. So here we need to add the annotation. That is add the rate log. And the second addition we need to add here at the red column. And in the argument of the column, we need to write here the name of this property body. And the second argument we need to pass here the length of this input that is 512 kbps. Okay. Third property we need to add is created date let me import date from java.util okay and here we need to add to another things so the first one is user we need to map this entity with the user entity so we need to add here the configuration to map with user entity for the first annotation is many to one like many user post or oh sorry one user post many questions so we need to add here the annotation that is many to one okay and here fetch is equals to fetch type dot lazy okay and the optional it will be a false Second annotation we need to add here join column and here we need to write the name of the column that is user underscore id okay and it will be a nullable false third annotation that is on delete action on deletion dot cascade and the last annotation we need to add here is an ignore so the first annotation is used to like one user can post many answers okay and here the join column like this entity will join will create this column as a join with the service class uh, service entity and this annotation is used to delete the record like if admin or user can delete ourselves in the db then all the record related, related with the user like uh, answers questions votes etc it will delete automatically when user want to delete myself okay and here is the last transition that is json ignore okay so we need to add same as for the question so we need to map answers id entity with the question entity so here we need to add questions okay and it will join column question underscore id it will be also same many to one join column it will create column with the name question underscore id 
and it will be on delete action is equals to on deletion dot cascade and the last condition is json ignore okay so after that let me create get and setter for all the properties okay So let me create a DTO of answer. So it will be a answer DTO. Okay. So let me add here the properties like ID, private string body, private long question ID. Private wrong user ID. Okay. So let me create the get transmitter for all the properties. Okay. So after this let's create a new controller of answer so let me create here the class for answer controller in the controllers package so let me annotate with class with add the interest controller and the request mapping annotation and here we need to add the url of this controller it will be a slash api slash answer okay so in the services i'm going to create here the new package that is answer and in the answer i'm going to create here the new interface it will be a answer service and here i'm going to create a new class that is answer service import it will implement answer service okay so let's annotate with this class with at the rate service okay so we need to do one more thing that is answer repository so it will be a interface and we need to extend with jpa repository to override some built-in methods so here we need to give the answers gto or oh sorry answers entity and the data type of the our primary key that is long let's annotate it with at the rate repository so let me Close the repository and here we need to inject our service. Okay. So I am creating here the object of our answer service in the answer controller. Okay. So here I'm going to create here the method to add answers in our database. Okay. So it will be a public and here we need to add response entity. So for now I'm not sure. So that's why I'm putting here the question mark and here name of the method that is add answer. And here we need to get the answer DTO. So we will get answer DTO with this annotation at the rate request body. And here we need to Pass the object of our answer DTO. And here we will call method from our answer service that is post answer. Okay. And we will pass this object to this method. So it will be a post mapping. Okay. Let's 
create this method into our answer DTO and it will return our answer DTO. Okay. So let's implement this method into our answer service impulse. So here we need to inject our new repositories. So the first one is user repository. Second one is question repository. Private. Third one is answer repository. Okay. So let me add to our constructor parameter. Let me minimize this for the better view. Okay. Now here, first of all, we need to get the record of our person and the user. So we will get from our repository. So we will save this to our this object and it will be optional like it we will get a record from our repository or not it will be a two conditions so we will call method from our user repository that is signed by id and here we need to pass the user id okay and the second thing we need to get that is question We are optional question and we will get from question repository dot signed by ID and here we need to pass the question ID okay and here we need to check if optional user is present and and optional question is present then create here the new object of our answer new answers okay and we need to set here the body and we will get body from our dt get body okay answer dot set get a date and here we need to Set the new date. Okay. Answer dot set user and we will get user from optional user dot get. Okay. And we also need to set check. We will get question from optional question dot get. Okay. So after that, after saving the these changes, we need to call the repository of the answer and here we need to call the method that is save and here we need to pass the answer object okay i'm saving these changes into our this object that is created answers okay so here i'm going to get here the object of our answer dto to return the Answer DTO object to our this method. So that's why I'm going to create here the new object of our answer DTO. So it will be our answer created answer DTO is equals to new answer DTO. And here we need to set it answer DTO dot set ID. And here we will get ID from created answer dot get ID. Okay. And after that, we will return here created answer DTO. Otherwise, return none. If optional user or optional answer is empty, then return null. Otherwise, return this question created answer DTO. So here we will save these changes into this object that is answer DTO. And here answer dto and i've created here the object of answer dto and here we need to check if 
our created answer TTO is it was in plus to null. Then return new response entity that is something went wrong. And here we need to pass the HTTP status dot bad request. Okay. Otherwise, it's not null. Then return new response entity. Sorry, uh, it will return response entity. response entity dot status and here we need to pass the status that is created and here we need to pass a body that is created answer dto okay so let me check and we'll give you the overview, quick overview of this method. So first of all, I've created here the, the entity of the answers with the few properties, ID, body, created date, and here the mappings with the uh, two other uh, entities, question and answers, okay? So here's the implementation. And in the DTO, I added here the answer DTO class in the DTO package. So here the few properties with the ID, body, question ID, and the user ID. Okay. So I've created here the answers controller. I've inject here the answer service. And here I'm, I've created here the method to add answer of the question. So here it will be a post mapping. And in the request body, we will get these details from the user, like the body, question ID, user ID. Okay. So we will pass this object to this method post answer it will use these records okay and we save first of all it will get the uh, optional user from user repository in the second step it will get the question from the question repository okay and here in the statement we have checked that your uh, optional user and the optional question is present then create here the object of answer and here we need to set the record that is body created date user question and here i've created here the object of the answer and for that i've created here the object of the answer dto to return the answer dto to this method okay so here i've set the id and return here the created answer dto otherwise return here the none okay so here we need to check if created answer DTO is equal to null, then return something went wrong and the status that is bad request. If created answer DTO not is equal to null, then return HTTP status that is created and the body we need to pass here the created answer DTO. So that's all for now from my side. And in the next video, we will call this API from our Angular and we will post answer okay so hope you like this video and thanks for watching also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thank you take care bye